a man by the name of Anthony Pratt, who worked at his local munitions factory during World War II, needed a way to pass the time on long nights stuck indoors during air raid blackouts. On their dining room table, he and his wife Elva designed the board game with suspects, the locations of the crime, and even weapons. The game we know now is Clue. So what's the purpose of the game? Didn't you listen? A crime is committed and the players must sort through clues to help them figure out who did it, where, and how. Sounds awesome. I wish we could play. Saved by the bell. No crimes happening in my classroom today. See everyone tomorrow. And we will continue our discussion about Clue. It looks like we have to follow the clues. Come on guys, we can do this. We just need to find out who, where, and how. But we're going to need some help. Can you all help us? Grab your detective notebooks. Throughout the film, we'll be keeping track of clues. Keep track and maybe you can help us figure out who kidnapped Mr. Wheelock. If you want him back, follow the clues, find the classroom where they put on the news. I know, it's Mrs. Malsby, she did it. Let's go find out, we better hurry. No. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? I'm trying to finish the newscast. Mrs. Malsby, we know you did it. Where's Mr. Wheelock? What are you talking about? Stop the lies. It was Miss Malsby in the journalism room with the microphone. You're such good detectives, but this isn't the end. I've never kidnapped Mr. Wheelock. He's my friend. My room and my microphone just help me communicate. I think you need to consider a mad scientist. Go check out the experiments. Don't wait. It's Mrs. Clapper, not Mrs. Mosby. Update your notebook, detectives, and let's go. Good luck. Oh my God, that was so cool. Let's go, please. Here's the evidence. Now where's wheels? I don't see him anywhere. What did you find? It looks like the survival of the fittest bean lab. Who will survive? Miss Clapper, we didn't see you there. Was it you? Did you kidnap Mr. Wheelock? Was it Miss Clapper in the laboratory with a jar of poisonous beans? Did I commit the crime? Who can really say? Maybe he was taken. Maybe he ran away. If only the fittest can survive, who will make it all the way? Find the woman who keeps us healthy each and every day. It's gotta be Nurse Julie. Update your evidence and let's go check out another suspect. There she is, the kidnapper herself. What are you talking about? We know it was you who took Mr. Wheelock. We followed the evidence and it was Nurse Julie in the nurse's office with the hand sanitizer. I'm not here to kidnap anyone. I'm just here to keep the school healthy and the students and staff happy. I take my job seriously. Thank you, Nurse Julie. But we're serious too. We need our teacher back. I don't think you found your thief. Mr. Wheelock is not here. I'm just doing my best to prevent sickness and fear. Look at that seventh grade team. See who the, how they are acting. You might want to ask the woman who's in charge of adding and subtracting. Oh no, another math problem. It's gotta be Mrs. Farley. Farley, you'll never get away with it. What did I do? 
I'm trying to drink nasty cold coffee, and I don't even like hot coffee. I gotta get back to my class. Where are you supposed to be? You guys get to your room immediately, or I'm giving you all detentions. We won't let you get away. We're solving a crime that you committed. What did I do? Get away with what? You guys, I've got too much to do. You're gonna have papers galore on my desk. How dare you guys accuse me of crime? All I do is grade papers, drink nasty coffee, and I know I'm studying harder than you guys are. I'm the long-term stub and I love it here. And I don't have time for silly crimes over silly social studies teachers. Mr. Wheelock is not a silly. It's not silly and we need him back. He's the best seventh grade social studies teacher we have. It was Miss Farley in the lounge with her coffee. Come on kids, Wheelock's missing, but what do I know? I can't give you the answer or solve this for you. Do the math. How many times do I tell you that? Do the math. Add it up and take a look. Maybe go to where we keep all the books, huh? Books. There are books everywhere in this school. Every teacher has books in their classroom. We're never going to find Mr. Wheelock. I miss his jokes and his awkward compliments. Me too. Where can we find the most books in this building? Piles and piles of books. That's it. Shelves and shelves full of books. Of course, the library. Mr. Nichols, no way, he's not a kidnapper. We have to, to check every suspect, even if they do host the book fairs in the tri-state area. Let's update our notes and get to the library. That was the best place. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys, um, I'm glad you're here. I have a ton of laminating to do. Will you guys help me put away some books? Mr. Nichols, cut the kindness act. We know it was you. No more games. We need our teacher back. What are you talking about? Was someone taken? Yes, Mr. Wheelock is gone and we can't finish the year without him. We know it was Mr. Nichols in the library with a laminator. Uh... Mm, I don't think so. I've been checking in books, restocking shelves, uh, making sure all the kids in the school know how to read and have fun reading. There's no way I had time to steal a teacher. But we are running out of options. What if we never find wheels? Well, I know he's a great man. You all think very highly of him, but it wasn't me. I'm clearly busy. I know if you guys stop searching and just dig deep, look at all the clues, the answer will come to you. Come on, guys. Let's go look at the clues. Miss Farley joined our class this year to take care of us and our math skills while Mr. Roggy is protecting our country. Apparently, after spending time at the middle school, she decided that she doesn't ever want to leave. The best plan she could come up with was to kidnap Mr. Wheelock. If he was gone for good, she would be called to be a long-term stub again next school year. She took time to devise her plan and knew she could lure him into her room with a fresh cup of coffee. When the cup ran out, she knew he would need a second, third, fourth, and maybe fifth cup. She sent him into the lounge for a refill, and that's where she left him. Locked in the workroom with only coffee, a copy machine, and leftover lunches. While we searched for him, Mr. Wheelock struggled and fought back fear. He was locked in the lounge for at least 15 minutes. When we finally went back to safe and we found him and Mrs. Farley chatting and having a good laugh. She apparently felt guilty and couldn't go through with it. She unlocked the door before Wheels even knew he'd been kidnapped. Instead of telling Mr. Wheelock that he'd been kidnapped, we'd figured it'd be best for his stress level if we just left it alone. Instead, we went to Mrs. Jensen and told her that no matter who needs a sub next year, she could, should call Mrs. Farley right away. If someone loves us enough to kidnap Mr. Wheelock, we really need them in our building. Our mystery was solved with Miss Farley in the lounge with the coffee. But the true reveal here was how grateful we all are for people like Miss Farley who come to our rescue every single day. We couldn't do it without them.